A six-year-old boy is the only survivor of one family from the Allen Outlet Mall shooting. His parents and three-year-old brother were killed Saturday. Also among the victims, two young sisters, one in second grade, the other fourth grade. Their mother is in the hospital. We've also learned a 27-year-old engineer shopping with her friend was shot and a 20-year-old security guard who worked for the mall just devastating. And now new details have emerged about the life of the suspected shooter. 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia was shot and killed by an officer there on an unrelated call. Let's bring in Shannon Murray, who's live in Allen for us this morning. Uh, Shannon, motive is still unclear in this case, right? But what have we learned about the shooter? Yeah, Sally and Melissa, we continue to learn more and more every single day as we are covering this story, but none of it really in an official capacity. But we've learned this morning social media posts suggest Mauricio Garcia planned this attack weeks in advance and even researched when the Allen Outlet Mall would be the busiest. Saturday, investigators say the 33-year-old killed eight people and injured seven others with an AR-15 style weapon outside the Outlet Mall. The FBI says they recovered multiple weapons on him and inside his vehicle. He grew up in North Texas and graduated from Brian Adams High School here in Dallas in 2008, according to the Dallas ISD. He later worked as a security guard after a failed attempt to join the military. And most recently, he spent several months living at the Budget Suites of America off North Demons Freeway in Dallas. Asa Bryant, his wife, and four children also live at the same extended stay hotel. Once I heard that and it was just so close to home, I was just like, that's, that's crazy. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. What if he chose to do it here, you know? And it's like, what do you do then? A motive has not been released, but the FBI is looking into Garcia's online activity. He reportedly had a fascination with white supremacy. He posted photos showing Nazi tattoos on his body and also described mass shootings as a sport. Now, later today, we expect to hear from Texas DPS investigators for the first time since this shooting happened on Saturday. And Sally, Melissa, you can guarantee there will be a lot of questions about the timeline, about the weapons he used and the body armor he was wearing. And of course, a lot of questions surrounding the motive and this information we've been receiving about all of his postings online. He had no we're, criminal we're record, right though, now. right, Shannon? Shannon? Right, nothing that we have seen, and like I said, they're not releasing much in an official capacity, only identifying who he is and his age. They have not given us an official photo, um, but no, we have not seen anything about a criminal history. We know that after high school, he had that failed attempt where he tried to join the military back in 2008 and was released after just a few months because of some kind of mental health issue. Um, so hopefully at some point today or in the coming week, we will get some more um, information. We know security Security experts that we've talked to have said right now those investigators are combing through every single detail of his background, every post he put online, um, and they're probably trying to get everything together and organized before they release anything officially to the media. It's so hard to understand. He had children of his own, and so many children's lives were lost. All right, Shannon, thank you for being there to gather all this information for us. And just days after the shooting in Allen, a surprise move in Austin, House lawmakers advancing a gun control bill in a committee. It would raise the age to purchase certain semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21. This law could have prevented the Uvalde gunman who was 18 at the time of the shootings. He used an AR-15 style rifle, but it wouldn't have stopped the Allen Mall shooter. He was 33. The bill still has an uphill battle as it is not expected to become law in Texas.